Um, so somebody asked about the research on what do you eat on this diet? I eat tons of vegetables, um, but there's actually a really cool um, documentary about it out on... It's so awkward when people walk past. <laughs> there's actually a really cool documentary about it on Netflix at the moment. Um, very interesting. But uh, I've always struggled with my weight and yeah, in the last few years, like energy and motivation and mental health has always been a, a struggle. I don't know if I'm moving back to South Africa. That's the honest truth. Um, for supper, I actually just um, stopped at Woolies because normally we used to do um, takeouts on Fridays, but trying to eat better and whole food and all the things. And so um, I got a chicken burrito bake and jeez. <laughs> My kids, uh, yeah, never thrilled about that. Rosia did not have two kids before he met me. He has a brother and sister um, who have been with us for 10 years this year. So I used to ride horses, actually. Two things not many people know. I used to ride horses uh, competitively when I was a kid, and I also used to race cars. We used to drag race cars in uh, um, Kalani, and yeah, I did it for like a yeah, the hockey, the hockey is, I've only watched the women's hockey so far and I felt like we did so well against Australia. Like I was convinced we were going to do well and then, um, and then it didn't go well. So yeah, hopefully they're building onto something, which is, um, which will be great. Um, I am not an extrovert. I'm actually severely introverted. And so I really struggle in, um, big groups. Um, but what my big sister taught me many years ago was to separate, uh, my personal life from my private life. So yeah, when I work, I'm, I manage to, um, just stay, just don't want to, don't want the girls to be on you, but, um, but when I work, yeah, I manage to just remember that it's sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And so have to work. Um, would I like to have any more kids? Um. Of course, I would always like to have many kids. <sighs> it's not her. But, um... I... No. I'm very happy with the crew that I've got. And, um... Yeah, I know. Very blessed, very grateful. No more kids. Hi, loves. I hope all is well. Our favorite South African star, Rachel Colisi, recently went live and dished out some juicy details about her life. Here's the scoop. Rachel's health journey. Rachel's been doing some serious research on gut health and its impact on mental well-being. After watching a documentary, she decided to give a healthier diet a try. She's had her own struggles with mental health, so she's hoping this change will make a difference. Will she ever return to South Africa? The big question on everyone's mind. Is Rachel coming back to South Africa for good? The answer, she's not sure. But for now, she's enjoying her time in the motherland. Rachel's wild and wacky sport past. Believe it or not, Rachel used to be a bit of a thrill seeker. She revealed that she used to do drag racing and horse riding back in the day. Who knew our girl had such an adventurous streak? Olympic disappointment. Rachel's been clued to the Olympics, but she was pretty bummed out by the performance of the South African hockey team. She expected them to do better, especially against Australia. Sia's extended family. When asked about Sia's other kids, Rachel clarified that they are actually his siblings and they have been part of the family for the past 10 years now. Talk about a tight-knit crew. More kids in the future. Rachel's got a full house already, but would she ever consider expanding their family? She's not ruling it out entirely, but for now, she's content with the family she has. And there you have it, folks. Rachel Colisi keeping it real and sharing the latest updates on her life. We can't wait to see what she gets up to next. Stay tuned for more juicy gossip.
thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share hit the notification bell for new videos until then take care have a fantastic day bye